and then they shot holes. They shot the shingles down so they're shooting holes in their pan flashing. That's exactly why it's leaking. You can't put holes in the bottom of the boat. And I expect it to leak. Okay, what we got going on here? This guy has a leak in his garage. Well, you can see that whoever did this, they made a kicker coming down on the roof, and then they pounded nails through it. So that just created holes. So what we're doing, what you gotta do here, you gotta rip that off. As you see when I ripped it off here, see they put individual pan flashings in here. And then they nailed their shingles right through them. So you're poking holes through the metal right into the roof. You can see that one's a little rusty. So that means it was taking water. You can see the wash line where the dirt got in there and worked right on that nail. So that could be original place where the water's getting in to leak down here in the garage. So they all have to be dug out. They have to be stepped back six inches, the seams apart from each other, and then individually flashed. In this case, I'm putting on a new piece of fascia metal to cover because the rest of the house is white. So I don't have to get under the old with the flashings. I can go on top. Over here on the other side, you can see I took the cap off enough to expose. This has got a bad tear and it's got to be replaced. So you can see on this side, I already stepped everything back six inches or better from themselves. And I used ice and water shield that I bent under to get behind the fascia, but I could have just left it on the fascia, but it might have fell overnight and maybe rain to get in, so I took the time to get it behind. But we're flashing right on top of that and a new piece of fascia on it, so it's all gonna be weathered in. Ice and water goes back under as far as you can, so you're, you're back onto the old tar paper underneath there too, just to seal it up. We could start shingling back in against that boards. Make sure that you have safety glasses on. You never know what's gonna happen. So you can secure your flashing because I'm going over top of it with new flashing anyways. The nails will be covered. Make sure you put a flashing under your starter. Don't nail through the metal. Put your first shingle down. Remember not to nail through the flashing under it. Same thing all the way up. Then you got a custom bended piece of fascia metal. You can see that it tucks up underneath the D-edge and goes down to the deck with a little bit of a kicker. And that's it to close it up so no water can get behind the bottom flashings. <laughs>